Afternoon champions, this is Carrie Boatner coming to you from Daytona Beach, Florida, and this is your Wad of the Day. Um, today I want to talk to you about mindset. I want to talk to you about whether or not you have the mindset of a CEO or whether or not you have the mindset of an employee. So here's what I learned from Jenny Donnelly. I learned from Jenny Donnelly that you need to have the CEO mindset of your business, meaning you own it. You take responsibility of it. If you have the mindset of an employee, you are always going to be disappointed in your sponsor, quite honestly, because it's not the responsibility of your sponsor to make sure that your business is successful. Remember, if it's going to be, it's up to me. So you need to adopt that CEO mindset. Not that you're waiting around for someone to call you up and tell you what you need to do. You need to be using that DMO, your daily method of operation, and constantly staying in action. Remember, momentum is what happens when you get into action, not the responses of other people once you're in action. So it's up to you. And there's a great little test that you can do to determine whether or not you have the mindset of a CEO or you have the mindset of an employee. And here's essentially what it is. You can tell if you have the mindset of a CEO based on your reactions or your responses to what someone else says to you. So that could be that you reach out to somebody and you think they're going to be awesome for products and they go, no, I'm really not interested. I'm doing, you know, XYZ company instead. How do you respond to that? Do you let it knock you off the boat? Do you just completely lose interest in your business? Do you let it rob you of a couple hours of productive work in the day? Or do you go, you know what, that's okay. I wish you the very best of luck. And hey, listen, if things ever change for you, I would love to be available to help you. The other thing is that if you're talking to somebody about the business and they, they just don't really seem interested and you really, really want it for them, but they don't see it for themselves and you let it just destroy you. I'll give you a perfect example. My sister, three years ago, wanted nothing to do with Advocare, nothing to do with the products, and nothing to do with the business. Three years later, she decided she wanted to do a cleanse. And she got on the cleanse. Five days later, she decided she wanted to build a business. But what I did when she said no to everything that Advocare had to offer was I just continued to stay in action. I continued to be in action, creating the own momentum for my own business. I didn't wait for my sponsor to do it for me. I did it for myself. So keep the mindset of a CEO, be in action, and constantly work on your own personal development. And that will help you have the right responses to what other people do when you reach out to them because you are the CEO. Have a blessed day and talk to you later. Bye-bye now.